and welcome to Adobe Photoshop Tips and Techniques. We have uh, video tutorials divided into two sections. One is tips that talk about tools and different little tricks for tweaking an image. And we have another series of videos that are different techniques. And each week we'll be posting something new, something different uh, to help you with Adobe Photoshop and featuring some Lightroom videos too. Today we're going to talk about the healing brush. This is a, a tool that came along during the revamping with Adobe Photoshop CS5 and has pretty well taken the place of the cloning tool when it comes to fixing most items in a photograph. It's very, very easy to use and uh, can very, very quickly eliminate part of your image without you having to go and do a lot of cloning and blending and that sort of thing. When you select the healing brush tool, the one thing you want is to choose the spot healing brush tool on the top. We'll do other videos featuring some of these other tools as we move along in these series. And you want to make sure that Content Aware is selected on the top. Content Aware is an engine that Adobe has developed that takes the pixels from around the area and is able to do this amazing cloning that uh, by the time you're done, you can't tell the difference. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually eliminate this fish from this image. So as I said before, if you were doing it with the cloning tool, you'd have to copy and move over and blend and copy. But now we just select a size. And what you do is you want to have a brush size that is maybe just a medium size like this. And we're going to just trace over the edges. So to adjust them, first of all, a little shortcut to remember is if you use the square bracket keys on your keyboard, uh, that will adjust your brush size very quickly. Or alternatively, you can go up here and adjust your brush size. But it is a very quick and handy shortcut to use the square brackets. And then all I'm going to do is start shading in, going all the way around the edges of the fish. You just want to make sure that you have him completely covered or your subject and then you fill it in. The whole time you're doing this, you don't unclick your mouse, you hold your mouse with your uh, selection clicked. And then as soon as you've picked the whole area, making sure that you completely covered your subject, unclick your mouse and just like that, Content Aware has copied and pasted so that your image is gone. Now we can just go down here and trace along the shadow to finish it off so that it looks more realistic. And even these little black dots here we can quickly touch them up if you want to get rid of a few of those. And there you go. All of a sudden it looks like just the one fish in the ocean as opposed to the two that we had before. Another place that this tool comes in very, very handy is let's just open up another picture here. I'm sure from time to time you've all run into the issue where you've had dust spots on your sensor. It can be very frustrating, especially in blue skies or cloudy skies. And as you see, I have a series of dust spots here. So yes, I have to get the sensor cleaned, but I want to be able to save this photograph. So again, using my square bracket tools, I adjust the size, come around to my dust spots and just click over top of them. And just like that, the healing brush, oops, Make it a little bigger. There we go. Has eliminated all of the dust spots on my photograph. So as you move through the different jobs and other things that you do with Adobe Photoshop, you will find that once you get used to using the healing brush, it becomes a very handy tool in your arsenal when it comes to quick and easy retouching in your photograph. Give it a try and uh, we will be back again with more tips the next time. Thank you very much.